speaking of things a billion miles away, NASA scientists have achieved a rather remarkable feat. The probe's telemetry modulation unit, part of the flight data system, was sending back a repeating pattern of code that could not be understood from billions of miles away. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, Mission Control on Earth receives this data in binary code, a series of ones and zeros basically, and it took time and some creative thinking for the scientists to decode the spacecraft's confusing code. But once they did, they were able to locate the cause of the issue. The probe made a recording of the sound of interstellar space. And it carries a recording, a 70s style phonograph record made of gold that's intended to bring the sounds of Earth to any alien that might discover Voyager someday. Its sister vehicle, the Voyager 2, has traveled more than 12 billion miles from Earth. The two probes launched weeks apart in 1977 have flown by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Both probes are now in interstellar space, the only spacecraft to operate beyond the heliosphere. They are the sole extensions of humanity outside the heliosphere's protective bubble and they are alone out there as they travel in different directions. NASA's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant man-made object in the universe, is returning usable information to ground control. That first though, NASA is back in communication with a spacecraft that's unimaginably far away. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have been exploring our solar system for nearly 40 years, solving mysteries about the outer planets and finding new moons. However, in an unusual occurrence, Voyager 1 seems to be sending strange signals from outside the solar system for which there is no clear explanation. Is Voyager 1 finally breaking down after 45 years of interstellar travel? Or might there be another reason? Hello everyone, welcome to Envision Space. In this video, we'll be exploring the incredible journey that the Voyager spacecraft has completed thus far, using some new data that has scientists and researchers thrilled. We've noticed many of you just watch and swipe. Show support by subscribing to our channel. The Voyager program consists of two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 2 was actually launched first in August 1977, but Voyager 1 was sent on a faster trajectory when it launched about two weeks later on September 5, 1977. As of January 2024, it is approximately about 15 billion miles away from our planet, making it Earth's farthest spacecraft at the moment. Voyager 1 is traveling through space at a speed of about 38,000 miles per hour or 17 kilometers per second. Approximately the size of a subcompact car, the spaceship weighs more than 720 kilograms. They are the only two functioning spacecraft currently in interstellar space beyond the environment controlled by the Sun. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory manages the Voyager spacecraft for NASA's Office of Space Science. When Voyager 1 launched a mission to explore the outer planets in our solar system, nobody knew how important the probe would still be 45 years later. Beyond anyone's expectations, the probe has continued to operate and send data back to Earth on its journey. In August 2012, about 35 years after it set out on its journey, the spacecraft crossed interstellar space. However, the official announcement of the discovery didn't come until 2013, after researchers had time to examine the information returned by Voyager 1. Voyager 1 was the second of the twin spacecraft to launch, but it was the first to race by Jupiter and Saturn. For a generation, numerous media outlets and schoolbooks used the pictures that Voyager 1 sent back. The Golden Record, a unique record intended to transmit music and voices from Earth into space, is also carried by the spacecraft. The Voyager missions made use of a unique outer planet alignment that occurs just once every 176 years. Spacecraft can slingshot from one planet to the next using this alignment, which maximizes the use of their limited fuel. NASA originally planned to launch two spacecraft past Neptune Uranus, and Jupiter, as well as two more probes past Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter. NASA seized on the opportunity, 
but shrinking budgets made the grand tour of the outer solar system too expensive. Therefore, the project was scaled back to a quarter billion dollar trip to Saturn and Jupiter. While Voyager 1 focused on Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 passed Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. There were numerous scientific instruments on board each spacecraft, including sensors, a magnometer, cameras, and ultraviolet and infrared spectrometers. The Voyager crafts were expected to survive for five years, but they've surpassed that goal with good luck and smart budget management. Like the Pioneer spacecraft before it, Voyager's look at Jupiter's moons revealed them to be active worlds of their own. And Voyager 1 made some surprising discoveries about these natural satellites. Furthermore, images of Europora returned by Voyager 1 revealed a relatively smooth surface divided by lines, suggesting the presence of ice and possibly even an ocean beneath the surface. Voyager 1's closest approach to Jupiter was on March 5, 1979, when it came within 174,000 miles of the turbulent cloud tops. The probe was then ready to go after Saturn. It took scientists just a year and a half until 1980 to obtain up-close images of Saturn. The ringed planet proved to be almost as surprising as Jupiter. The F ring, a tiny structure only found by NASA's Pioneer 11 mission the year before, was one of Voyager 1's goals. Two additional moons, Prometheus and Pandora, were discovered by Voyager's high-resolution camera. Their orbits maintained the frozen material in the F ring in a defined path. It also discovered Atlas and a new ring, the G ring, and took images of several other Saturn moons, till it was finally time to make its way to interstellar space. Voyager 1 captured a multi-image solar system family portrait that day including pictures of the Sun, five additional planets, and other celestial bodies. On the 14th of February, 1990, as the spacecraft was departing our planetary neighborhood for the fringes of the solar system, it turned around for one last look at its home planet. Voyager 1 was about 6.4 billion kilometers away and approximately 32 degrees above the ecliptic plane when it captured this portrait of our world. Caught in the center of scattered light rays, Earth appears as a tiny point of light, a crescent only 0.12 pixels in size. The image inspired the title of scientist Carl Sagan's book, Pale Blue Dot, A Vision of the Human Future in Space, in which he wrote, Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. The spacecraft's journey's most thrilling moment may have been when it became the first of its kind to travel into interstellar space. Voyager 1 left the heliosphere, the giant bubble of charged particles that the sun blows around itself, in August 2012, popping free into interstellar space. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2, its twin, also passed through the heliosphere and entered interstellar space putting both of the Voyager probes outside of our solar system. Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any other man-made object in history on its trip beyond the solar system, setting records that may take a while to surpass. NASA plans to extend the historic Voyager program's exploration for a few more years at the very least. However, after nearly a half a century and billions of miles of cosmic travel, the pair of space probes aren't the young, spry technological wonders they were back in 1977. As was the case earlier this year, when NASA delivered two software updates to Voyager 1, and two repairs are to be expected, though it only appears to impact Voyager 1. NASA announced earlier this week that a new problem had been detected. The engineering team is currently working to find a way to give the record-breaking project a little more life. But Voyager 1's flight data system now appears to be stuck on auto-repeat, according to NASA. The Interstellar Explorer is collecting and returning scientific data in addition to receiving and carrying out commands from Earth. Normally, however, the attitude, articulation, and control system readouts from the probe don't really reflect what's happening on board. Which raises the question, what exactly is happening with Voyager 1?
The problem was discovered by the mission team when the telecommunications unit of the flight data system started returning a pattern of ones and zeros repeatedly, as if they were stuck in a loop. These signals, unlike anything ever seen before, had left the scientific community both intrigued and to some, frightened. Some experts suggest that these signals may not be of natural origin and could potentially be indicative of extraterrestrial involvement. The spacecraft is still able to receive and execute instructions from the mission team, but no science or engineering data from Voyager 1 is being returned to Earth due to a communications unit malfunction. Over the weekend, the Voyager crew transmitted commands to the spacecraft to restart the flight data system, but thus far, no useful data has returned. Voyager 1 is so far away that it takes 22.5 hours for a command sent from Earth to reach the spacecraft. The team also has to wait 45 hours for a response. The technology on board the Voyager craft is outdated by modern standards. The memory on their computers is tiny, 69.63 kilobytes, or roughly enough to hold an ordinary JPEG file. After delivering the data to Earth, they have to remove it to create a place for new observations. NASA engineers are currently trying to gather more information about the underlying cause of the issue before determining the next steps to possibly correct it. The process could take weeks to ensure that the spacecraft's operations aren't impacted in an unexpected way. The Voyager crew wants to weigh all of the possible consequences before giving the spacecraft further instructions. In order to save energy and extend their missions, the team on board of the elderly twin Voyager probes has been slowly shutting off their instruments as they continue their cosmic exploration. Both spacecraft have experienced unexpected issues and dropouts along their journey, including a seven-month gap in 2020 when Voyager 2 was unable to contact Earth. The mission team had to employ a launch shot method in August to get back in contact with Voyager 2 as the command had unintentionally turned the spacecraft's antenna in the wrong direction. While the team hopes to restore the regular stream of data sent back by Voyager 1, the mission's main value lies in its long duration. The mission team has been able to maintain its record-breaking flights in recent years by coming up with creative methods to increase the power supply on both spacecraft. According to Suzanne Dodd, the project manager for spacecraft at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Voyager sets new records every day. Amazing discoveries outside of our solar system, and maybe in another 40,000 years, it will pass by the star AC plus 793 in the constellation within 1.6 light years or 9.3 trillion miles. Therefore, even if the engineering team is doing everything possible to keep them alive, problems are expected. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting space-related content. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. This is Envision Space, signing off.